Nidhi Stalin, dear Uday, you teach us every single day that the higher we climb, the more grounded should we remain. Your smile, energy, humility and approachability charms every person who comes in contact with you. We say that people may forget what one said or did, but they will always remember how one made them feel. And with each interaction, you make people feel worthy and good about themselves. That is a trait which can only be inborn, not learned, and sets you way ahead of others. Thank you for being uniquely you. Thank you for inspiring us every single day. I would like to ask Ashok to felicitate Mr. Uday. person and also the way I practice medicine has evolved likewise. So I am no longer satisfied. So Talavaliya, inda or paracetamol, aciditya, inda or pantacid, ilati muti valiya, mudug valiya, rest at the co. In the madri da nariya women's health problems, we are just addressing the symptoms rather than searching for a cure. So I always believe prevention is better than cure. So I want to see what we can do about preventing disease rather than just treating the symptoms after the disease comes up. Fertility is not a disease. It is not a disease. It is a disease. It is a disease. It is a Infertility treatments are not a disease. So this is the reason why there should be something happening environment wise. Whether we are exposed to many toxins and pollution or number lifestyle. That is the major factor which has changed over the past few years. So, Adila in the matram kondu varla. And so can we conceive naturally. Though I am an IVF center in the, I don't want to push everyone towards IVF. My patients know that I always suggest that as a last option and only try to get them pregnant through natural means. So, Inga, we are going to have more holistic approach to wellness, such as yoga, strength training, psychological counseling, sexual dysfunction counseling, lifestyle education and coaching. Idalanda, I think it is very much the need of the hour today and that's what we want to concentrate on here. Next, something which is very close to my heart. Ponavati 2019, actually that in a party pair, I want to start a trust up in Solita. So, that's why COVID hit uh, cases were very down. So far, we have done five free IVF cases after our inauguration in 2019. Now, I want to register it formally as a trust so that I can take it forward more. I can do fundraising. I can help more couples. Through this fund, we aim the Leela Fertility Foundation. Through this, we aim to do one IVF case free for every 10 cases that we perform, two IUIs free every month, 10 pap smear screenings for cervical cancer free, two cervical cancer vaccinations free every month, and I want to weigh my delivery charges for one patient, all belonging to the below poverty line. And because service for the age, I think we always realize that giving gives us more pleasure rather than getting. And I feel the responsibility of living up to two legacies. One I was born into, one I have been married into. In my father, you patient comes to the area, and they have been doing a lot of service over the years. Same, Ade Mari and the family I married into, Ashok's family, they've helped thousands and thousands of people in various fields. So we need, in the Pandalan and Ekamodu, so health professional, let me do something in my field itself. And so this is a small attempt to begin doing and giving back to society. For this, I would like to ask Mrs. Kritika Udayanidhi to come and inaugurate it for me. 
because she's doing so much of service in a very silent manner. And I was really stunned when I came to your and the Chintadri pet area. All the little little people, all the little kids, all the 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 kids, all